hi friends welcome to my channel and this is windows server 2019 trading tutorial and this is number 16 video in this series and today in this video i'm going to show you how to install and configure print server role on windows server 2019 so basically print server you can say there you can install all your printers on a on a windows print server and from there all the printers can be uh, deployed to the uh, by client machine by using the GPO they can uh, map manually so you can centrally manage all the printers from one server which is called print server so we'll see how how to install configure and work with print servers so let's get in so this is my daemon environment which I'm going to use in this demo uh, to give you the idea about how to install and configure the print server role so the first server is win2k19 dc01 which is my active directory and dns server so you can see this is my active directory and dns server if i go to local machine you can see this is my domain controller win2k19 dc01 and this is my uh, domain name victorinfosol.com and if i go here active directory users and computers you can see my active directory user sync computer as well victorinfosol.local so this is my AD server and the second machine which is currently bare machine on which uh, we are going to install and configure print server role so f uh, we are going to configure this name win2k19 pnr uh, print and this is going to be a print server IP address which is we are going to configure 192.168.0.202 dot and we are going to join this machine in victim for sole domain controller so these two are servers and we have two client machine also which is windows 10 cl1 and windows uh, 10 cl2 both are running and both are joined in my domain workstation uh, in my victim for sole dot local so if I go here you can see this is my this machine is logged in by user 01 and this is logged in by user 02 so these are two you can say end user client machines on where uh, on which we are going to install the print printers from the print server so you can say this is join in my domain victim for sole dot local so this is good and this is our second machine and both are logged in with the uh, domain account so here this is uh, Winten CL2 so this is our infrastructure so let's go to this server which we have uh, just freshly installed and we are going to um, install and configure print server role on this machine so these are the step by step tasks to install and configure print server role so first thing we need to configure IP address rename server and join in join server in domain so we are going to do this so I'm on my win2k19 PNR server first thing I'm going to configure IP address so I have this NIC so I'm going to disable IPv6 IPv4 I'm going to configure as per my configuration so it's going to be 192.168.0.202 and subnet pass 255.255.255 and gateway is going to be uh, 192.168.0.1 and the primary DNS is going to be my Active Directory Server IP and I'm going to give second DNS as my router so this is done so now if I refresh this you can see this is now connected with my domain infrastructure so I'm going to type now uh, rename this machine and join in domain so change I'm going to type win to k19 prn and my domain name victor dot local hit enter I'm going to type my credential here to join this machine in domain so welcome to victorinfosol.local domain this is good and now we are good to restart this machine and you can see this machine is going to be joined under computers the default OU so I'm going to move it to my servers OU which is going to be move and then I'm going to India servers so I have moved this my print server in a correct folder 
OU which is created for servers and now it's applying computer settings now we are good to go ahead and log in so I'm going to log in as the administrator here so Victor InfoSoul administrator and I'm going to type my password here and the next task is install print server role from a server manager so I'm going to install now print server role from a server manager on this machine so let's wait for server manager to pop up and then we can go ahead and install it so now we are good I'm going to click on manage and add role and features so uh, you have to get uh, welcome wizard then click next and printer server is uh, going to be a role so role based or feature based solution click next and then this is our server on which we are going to install a print server role so click next and then I'm going to select from here print and document services and this is going to give you uh, a pop up for installing the management tool also so good to go and add features click next and click next and this is the print and document services what you can do so print and document services enable you to centralize print and network printers management tasks so you can basically uh, centralize manage your all printers from this print server and this is some note what you have to make sure so things to note and windows server 2019 support only type 3 and type 4 type of printers driver so mostly latest printers are coming uh, with the type 3 and type 4 driver so if you have a very old printer or legacy printers or printers driver that is not going to support if it's not type 3 and type 4 driver for you or for that printers which you have and these are the same thing it's going to say your type 4 printers and type 3 printers detail so go ahead click next you need to make sure you have a type 3 and type 4 printers driver available for printer which you are going to use so click next and now they are different different services so mostly uh, I'm going to focus on this uh, print server because this enable you to um, install and configure and manage the print servers so I'm going to uh, click next and then this is going to give you confirmation and the print server role does not require reboot so we can go ahead and click on install so this is very lightweight it's going to take uh, less than a minute to get the installation done so we have to wait for it so now if I go here in my active directory and search for right click and find if I try to find printers I'm not going to find any printer because I don't have any printer published in Active Directory now so we are going to publish this soon once the printer installation is done so this is good so the next next task is uh, configure print server role and install demo printer so we are going to do now some stuff with the print server uh, management and install demo printers so now you can see uh, the print, uh, installation is succeeded so we can go ahead and close this and you can see on server manager we got printer services so this is good and now I'm going to open the print server management from tools and print management and then you will see uh, in the print server you have uh, all the printers uh, uh, printer server is connected and you have all the options like form uh, you can create form you can add drivers ports and printers so if you want to add new uh, any other printer and you want to manage from here you can add that server and you can manage too so for now I'm going to create some ports first so port is a Google, basically uh, you can map any port uh, might, might be a local port or a IP based port to the printer so I'm going to create some uh, demo port here so I'm going to create a standard TCP IP port like you have configured some printer on your network with the IP address so I'm going to configure those ports here so I'm going to type here IP address for example 192.168.0.181 and click next and if the printers are uh, going to be found on your network it's automatically going to configure since this is a demo environment I don't have printer available on this IP 
so after some time it's going to give, allow us to add the generic printer since this is not going to find so I'm going to add two printers here and which I have downloaded uh, printers driver the first one is going to be Canon, P uh, Canon PCL6 and the second one is going to be our HP universal printer driver so we'll see how we can do that so I'm going to extract both the printers driver first I'm going to call it like create folder here then I'm going to copy this folder path and then I'm going to paste it here and then I'm going to unzip so you can see all the printers is is extracted printers files and you got the installation wizard so I'm not going to install it I will install through the print server manager so you can see here it's uh, find the generic network card so I'm going to add this and same way you can see this is added here a standard TCP IP port and so I'm going to add one more port here uh, for another printer because we are going to install two demo printers so 82 so I'm going to add this generic network driver uh, port also so we got two ports here now we are going to add the drivers here so I'm going to right click here and add driver so this is going to be installed only 64 bit so I'm going to install only 64 bit so click next and then we need to browse from the hard drive because we have saved in our C drive so I'm going my C drive I'm going to select my Canon driver for 64 bit under the driver I'm going to select this setup INF file uh, and uh, set up information file which is going to be in information file so click OK and you, you will see here Canon generic plus PCL6 so I'm going to install this driver and going to you have successfully completed add, uh, add printer driver wizard so click on finish now I'm going to add HP driver so here go ahead and click next and I'm going to select 64 bit only and hard drive I'm going to browse HP driver folder so this is universal PCL6 so there's multiple driver versions so I'm going to select one of them and going to click OK and now we got HP universal printing, uh, printing PCL6 so I'm going to install it and click on finish so this is done and now if you go here you can see all the details whatever is available for this printer and now let's go and install printers so I'm going to click on add printer now and select the uh, ports which we uh, have just created so I'm going to select 81 first and click next and then I'm going to select the printer so I'm going to install the Canon I'm going to call it like Canon main and I'm going to set the location so your name I'm going also going to be give the same and location I'm going to type like um, HR office and comment this is black and white printer and click next and this is going to be installed uh, here also so click next and now you will see the printer is going to install soon so sometime it's going to take a uh, few seconds so we have to wait so you can see it's installed now and now I'm going to add one more printer for HP so add printers I'm going to select uh, 182 click next and I'm going to select the driver HP Universal PCL6 so I'm going to type this HP main and I'm going to uh, save the share name also same and I'm going to type IT office and this is black and white printer click next and click next and this is going to be install this printer also so you can see his, uh, here driver type is going to be uh, type 4 user mode so since when we started the installation of printers uh, server role 
uh, we found that the this printer is going to support only driver 3 and driver 4 uh, type printers so this is good we got all uh, uh, both printers working on driver 4 uh, type 4 mode so now this is also done click on finish and refresh it so you, we got both printer installed now so both are type 3 and now if I double click and properties you will see the share name you will see the printer name location comments and also you can test the pay at uh, print the test page if you need and this is share and I'm going to add this in my active directory so list in directory going to apply and then if you want to and this is going to give you a message this sometimes this takes several minutes so that's fine if you need additional uh, drivers to add like a 32 bit you can apply 32 bit drivers also so this is the port setting in case you need to change port after installation due to any uh, printer IP got changed or something you can do it and these are some advanced option like if you want to wish uh, to change the driver or anything you can install new drivers also you can change the driver from selecting drop down also so you you got all the things so uh, click OK and same we can apply uh, check for this um, printer also which is HP so under the sharing I'm going to list this in in a directory and click apply and uh, all the option is going to be remain same so you can see there is some uh, difference between both the printers properties because this is this depends on the driver which type of driver you are selecting so it's going to the option properties is going to be based on dri driver only so this is good um, now we have successfully installed two printers on a print server and we have shared those printers now let's see if it's got listed in directory so you can see in my active directory if I click find now it's going to find both the printers so this is good news and now we are on a final uh, step which is install printer on client machine from uh, print server so I'm going to do it so if I go here on my client machine under the uh, printers and uh, devices and printers and I'm going to add this click add printer and you will see the printer is automatically going to be listed here because it's sh uh, it it has been published on my active directory so you can select the printer which you want to install and then click next and then it's going to connect the printer and download the driver and install those uh, drivers locally on this machine so it's going to be uh, you don't need to put any credential any type of password you just got those printers installed automatically so let's wait for it and let's install this HP printer on my second machine which is when CL10 CL2 so I'm going to install here my HP printer so I'm going to install search for my directory also if you go if you want you can go ahead and search the printer uh, server name or IP you will go uh, you will receive those printer also so let's verify from IP address also so you can see you got those printer also you just need to click double click on it and it's automatically going to looking for driver then downloading driver installing driver everything is going to be happen automatically now you can see it's downloading the driver and finishing installation once the installation is finished you will see this printer is installed and it's going to give you IP address of that machine and you can see the printer also here on your print management so uh, devices so this is all about how we you can install so you can see your pair uh, on CL01 also your successfully added can on this on for on uh, print server this so this is good you will see printer installed here so this is all how you can install and configure print server role on Windows Server 2019 so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any question any query related to this video you can always post me on my given mail IDs thank you once again bye bye